I thought this was America, people. Uh, yeah. Guilty until proven innocent, huh? That's how we working, huh? Okay. On Tuesday, Golden State left practice early in New Jersey to drive to the NFL offices in Manhattan, where he appealed a failed PED test and a potential four-game suspension. The good news for Tate is that PED appeals are now heard by independent arbitrators, not by the commissioner or his hand-picked designee. This gives Tate a fair shot at winning. The bad news is that unless he can challenge his sample collection or testing process, he's likely to lose. The PED policy is unforgiving when it comes to unintentional ingestion of banned substances. The banned substance in question? Fertility pills. Yes, Golden Tate was using fertility pills during the offseason, no less, to help his wife get pregnant. While performance enhancing in some areas, fertility pills don't pay dividends on the football field. Furthermore, what occurs in a couple's bedroom, especially when trying to have their second baby, isn't anybody's business. Once Tate learned the pills included a banned substance, he immediately notified the New York Giants and the NFL. The news didn't come to light courtesy of a dirty urine sample. Tate told the truth. While this might work in the court of public opinion, it's not likely to work in the NFL's court of law. Maybe it's time for the NFL's court of law to have an update. After watching Ray Rice knock his wife out with one blow to the jaw, the NFL decided a two-game suspension was appropriate. Only after the video leaked did the NFL suspend Rice for the year, causing the Ravens to release him. Earlier this offseason, Kansas City Chiefs All-Pro wideout Tyree Kill, who slid to the fifth round of the NFL draft for domestic violence issues, allegedly broke his three-year-old son's arm after the boy told his mom, Daddy did it, through disturbing audio footage caught by Sports Illustrated, leading to an argument between Tyreek and his girlfriend about whether the boy respects his dad or if he's terrified of him, where Hill eloquently reminded his girlfriend, you need to be terrified of me too. Bitch. So what was the final verdict? No suspension. Tyreek Hill walks away scot-free. Thank goodness for the NFL's ratings this upcoming season. Hence, why potential suspensions need to be investigated on a case-by-case basis. The current rules regarding possible PED misuse state guilty until proven innocent. Aren't laws intended to protect, no matter the defendant or what they're up against? If Tate is found guilty, he'll lose $1.1 million plus a quarter of the season at a position the Giants can't have diminished. I'm Greg Landorf, this is New York Sports and Rhymes, and right now, I'm finished. As I look up at the sky, my mind starts dripping, a tear drops my eye, my body temperature falls, I'm shaking and they breaking, trying to save the dog, pumping on my chest and I'm screaming, I stop breathing, damn I see demons, dear God I wonder can you save me, I can't die, my boo boo's about to have my baby.